Our widget is a snippet of code that makes it possible to display a wide range of content and place it at specific block reference in your store. Most widgets display real-time dynamic information or data and allows your customers to interact with your store. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how we can create a few types of uh, uh, widgets in the admin backend panel and how we can display them up on the storefront as well. But before we proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see how we can create the widgets in the first place and then how we can display them up on the storefront as well. So here we are on the storefront right now. So in this demonstration today, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to create and manage widgets, how to use widget to position a particular block, how to add a new product list widget and how to add an orders and returns widget in the admin backend panel and how to display it at the storefront as well. So if you see here, I'm at the storefront right now and here you can see that here I have added a new product list widget that is displaying the complete list of uh, new products that are there with a limit of 1 to 5 and a total number of 10 are being displayed uh, in this particular list here and here we also have the navigation option there for the same. So this is a home page uh, that you are seeing right now of the website there and on the home page you can see that I have added the new product list widget. Similarly I have used the widget to position the block on the home page and here on the home page, if you see right now, we're on the home page. Uh, here you can see that we have the CMS home page content goes here. This is the uh, dummy text for the uh, particular home page. And just above that, we have inserted the particular or we have positioned a block uh, using the widget on the home page. And uh, this is the block content that is the text line that you can see and two sliders with two different images on this slider as well as on this particular slider as well. Apart from that, if I go to any of the web pages there of the store there, then you'll be able to see that we also added the orders and returns widget. And this orders and returns widget is visible here and the customers will find it on the sidebar here on the different pages of the website there because we have enabled it for all of the pages and we have set it as enabled for the sidebar there. Uh, there. So the customers can filter out uh, their order by using their email address. Then they have to enter their order ID, their uh, billing last name, their email address, and then they can tap here on the search button. Otherwise, they can use the zip code, uh, choose the their order ID here, enter the last name, set up their billing zip code, and tap on the search button to search their orders as per the requirement there. So this is the orders and returns widget that I had uh, applied on the different pages of the website there and I've displayed it on all of the pages on the sidebar there. Apart from that, if I go to the home page of my website, uh, on the home page you'll be able to see that I've added the new product list widget and I've used the widget to position a particular block on the home page as well. So this is the new uh, product list widget and this is the block uh, basically I've placed or I've positioned the block using the widget on the home page itself. Now let's hop onto the admin backend panel and let's log into the admin backend panel by entering the username password and tapping on the sign in button. So what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how we can basically add a widget from the admin backend panel uh, and I'll be showing you how I can use the widget to position a block on the home page, how I can add a new product list widget and how I can set up the orders and returns widget on the uh, different pages of the website there. So the very first thing I wanted to show you is uh, that under content we have to go to widgets to create the particular widget. So before going to the widgets let me take you to the block section and let me show you the block that I've already created and the content within the block there that's visible here as well on the storefront home page uh, there. So if I open the block here uh, here you can see that we have the slider test block. If I edit it up, we'll be able to see the content of this particular block, the same block that we have positioned here on the home page using the uh, widget itself. Now if I go to the edit uh, section of the slider test block here, I scroll down to the edit page builder section here, you'll see that the same content would be visible here as well. So here's the text 
This is a text for the block content. Two slider images. Two slider images. Two slides have been added with, within two columns here. And the same is visible here as well as you can see right now on your screen. Now let's hop on uh, to the particular section. Now let me go back. Let's go back. So to add a particular widget onto the home screen there, let's first go to the content and then widget section. This would display the complete list of widgets that we have created. So here you can see that I've already created the new product list widget, the CMS static block widget and the orders and returns widget. So let's see first of all how we can create the orders and returns widget. For that, I'll just tap here on the add widget button. And this would bring up the new widget creation page as you can see right now on your screens and here under the settings what we need to do is we need to select the type of the widget so we can choose between basically uh, if you are creating it you can create it for the cms page link cms static block catalog ca category link catalog new product list catalog product link catalog product list orders and returns recently compared products recently with products and so on and so forth so for this example we'll be choosing orders and returns so in today's uh, video we'll just be seeing how we can use the widget to position a block how we can create a new product list widget and how we can create an orders and return widget there so here what you need to do is we need to select the settings and we need to choose the type as orders and returns then under the design theme we have to choose the theme as magento luma and then tap on the continue button thereafter then we'll get the storefront properties where we can see the type has been selected as orders and returns. The design package or the theme is Magento Luma. Then we have to give the widget title. Then we have to assign this widget to the store view. So we can choose all store views or a particular store view. We can set the sort order of the widget instance in the same container. And then we have the layout updates where we can choose uh, or we can add a layout update for the widget. To basically uh, select where we exactly want to display the widget on so here we'll be choosing display on all pages and the container would be sidebar main section and after making these settings here you need to tap here on the save button and that particular order and returns would be visible in all of the web pages there on the left hand sidebar as you can see here as we are able to see the orders and returns widget now that brings up the uh, the uh, dynamic content to the customers there and the customers can interact with the orders and returns section here within this particular section itself now i've already created the particular orders and returns uh, widget here so let me edit that up by tapping here on the orders and returns option or the widget there so here we have uh, first we have selected the type then chose the uh, design package theme type then save the widget, then we got the storefront properties, then we have set the widget title, we have assigned it to the store view, set the sort order, display on all pages, the container would be the sidebar main, and then we have tapped on the save button, and the particular uh, widget is then visible on all of the web pages of the store on the sidebar main menu. Sidebar main uh, section there on the left hand side, as you can see here on the men watches page, uh, we can see that we have the orders and returns uh, widget available there for the customers to interact with. So this was about the orders and returns widget. Now let's see how we can set up a new product list widget on the home page. For that what we need to do is we need to tap here on the add widget button similarly in the same manner. So I'll tap here on the add widget button. Here I'll choose the widget type as catalog new product list. I'll choose the design theme as Magento Luma. I'll tap here on the continue button. Now after tapping on the continue button, we'll see uh, two more options. One is the storefront properties and the widget options there. So under the storefront properties, we'll give the name of the widget. Choose the uh, widget. Uh, basically, we'll assign the widget to the store wave. So we'll select the store wave to which we want to assign this widget to. Set the sort order and choose the layout. So here we'll be choosing the specified page. So we'll be displaying it on the CMS homepage and the container would be main content area and the template would be the new product grid template. So the products would be displayed in a grid template view. Otherwise, if you choose it as a list template, then the products would be displayed in a list view there. 
After this, you'll go to the widget options and here you can choose the display type as all products or new products. If you choose it as all products, then the recently added products would be displayed within the uh, widget there. Otherwise, if you have chosen it as new products, then the products marked as new would be displayed in the particular list. You can also display the page control as yes. If you set it as yes, then you can set the number of products per page and the total number of products to display within the list there. And you can set up the cache lifetime in seconds between the widget updates there. So here, if you see, if I go to the home page, I've added this particular widget on the home page. And here we have the new product list widget. And here you can see that total 10 are being displayed and the title uh, and the items that we are able to view are one to five. So total number five are visible here and total 10 are being displayed in the complete list there and display page control option is there. So here we have the page control option to navigate between the pages there, page one, page two, and we have a next option as well to go to the next page there for the new product list widget that we have added at the home screen there itself. So that's how easily you can add a new uh, product list widget. So once again, let me show you the one that I've already added. So here you can see that I have selected the catalog new product list as the type, the design as Magento Luma, the widget title for the admin understanding is new product list widget. Uh, I've assigned it to the store wave, that's the all store waves and the default store wave. I've set it uh, to be displayed, this widget to be displayed on this specified page, that's the CMS homepage and the container would be the main content area and the new product grid template would be selected for the same. And here I've chosen all products, display page control as yes, number of pr pr products per page are being displayed as five and the number of products to display is set as 10. So the number of products to display on the page is one to five, total number of products to display is 10 and we have the option to navigate to the next page as well within the new product list widget that we have displayed on the home page there. So this was about the new product list widget. Now let's see how we can use a widget to position a block on the home page there. So for that what I've done is I've already created a CMS static block. So let me show you how we can do that. So the same way goes for this as well. So you have to add a new uh, widget and after adding the new widget what you need to do is you need to choose the type as CMS static block. Choose the design theme as Magento Luma. Tap on the save button, then the storefront properties and the widget options appear. Under the storefront properties, you will set the widget title. Assign the widget to the store waves. Set the layout updates. So I've uh, set the uh, widget to be positioned on or the block to be positioned on a specified page. That's the CMS homepage and the container is the main content area. And then I've gone to the widget options and here what I've done is I've selected the uh, uh, the block that we have already created that I showed you in the initial of the video there and we have to select that particular block here and after that you need to tap here on the save button to save the particular block and then when we see the home page here on the home page we can see that particular block content complete block content being displayed on the home page in the main content area as you can see right now on your screens with the uh, with the text on the block uh, there uh, or the block content containing the text, the block content containing the slider images. We had two sliders along with two, two images for both of the sliders there uh, within the two columns of the, uh, of the uh, basically of the block there. So yes, that was how we can uh, basically create the widgets there. Now you can also manage or delete the widgets by tapping here on the delete option that you have. Otherwise, if you want to delete the widgets, you can select them up from here and you can choose the delete option and to add the widgets, you can tap here on the add widget button as I've already shown you. So yes, that was much about how we can create and manage the widgets, how we can use the widget to position uh, a block on the home page, how we can add a new product list widget and how we can set up the orders and returns widget at the home page as on the uh, different uh, pages of the website there. So if you still have any questions, queries, suggestions or requirements regarding this particular functionality there, then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uedes.com as well. Apart from that, if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. 
And lastly, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead.